The film begins on a highway where the brother and the sister are in a car. The boy's name is Derry, while the girl's name is Trish. They're basically going to their house to spend their vacations. Trish was out of her mind because of her quarrel with one of her friends. So Derry plays a game in order to amuse her. As they will tell each other the meaning of plate number of the vehicles going ahead. That is a fun game. Seeing a plate number, Derry says, it has perhaps written the word fever. But smiling Trish says, no, it has been written forever. Anyhow, Derry loses this game. Now we notice a speeder truck coming behind them. Reaching near their car, it begins honking. Feeling it, they turn back to notice but are afraid. And Derry makes a passing path for truck driving his car aside. And that truck moves ahead crossing them. When truck is at front, they notice the number plate of that truck. b has been written on that truck. Trish is worried seeing this truck. She mentions her school friends to her brother and tells that her friends were killed on this highway before 23 years. People called it an accident but their dead bodies are still missing. In response, Derry says that these are just rumors. Don't think about it. This rumor was spread so the young generation may not drive the car in intoxication. This is the cause that it is scared everyone taking this highway. After a time they stop their car near a church for some rest. Where they observed the same truck which was coming after their car honking. This truck was near an old church. They also noticed the truck driver here. Who is throwing something into a BG pipe. Meanwhile that driver catches their sight. Both siblings are afraid too much and drive their car away immediately. But that truck pursues them at the exact time. Trish is frightful and tries to contact with police. But Cell's battery is too low to contact with police. Nor they have the charging point in their car. Truck is running after them and reaches near them as a bullet speed. Coming near, it hits the car and their car is turned aside towards the field of highway. But they don't get any harm. Their car has been damaged. Derry repairs his broken car's hood with a piece of cloth fastening it. And Derry asks her sister Trish that we should return back to that old church to know the matter. And Trish has got angry saying, are you mad? We cannot take such risk. Whereas we should move to the next city that is our journey. Reaching next city, we will report police. But Derry says, do you not want to know about that mad driver? And why did he hit our car? And he finally convinces her sister. Now they have returned again near that old church. Where they also notice a big pipe and proceed towards it. It is round pipe going inside the earth. They feel odor smell here. Peeping inside it but nothing is visible, as they are returning back but hears some shrieks. Hearing, Derry asks her cider to bring torch from the car. And he intends to go inside the pipe. But Trish is suggesting him to leave. Derry moves to that pipe. He wanted to check whose sound are these. He asks her sister to hold his feet as he goes ahead. Derry's face is inside the pipe. And Trish has caught his feet at the backside. While looking, the rats appear there. And he shouts seeing them. Consequently, his sister is frightened and Trish's grip is lost in this state. And Derry has fallen going through the pipe. His sister calls her from the upside for many times. Hearing it, Derry restores his senses and he is safe from the serious harm. He tells his sister, I am absolutely right. Meanwhile, Derry notices a dead body wrapped in a cloth. He goes near it fearfully. As he goes close that dead body catches him. As a result, he is frightened. In any scenario, he courageously erases the cloth from its forehead. A young boy is gesturing to its stomach and trying to say something. Derry screams as he eliminates the cloth from its abdomen due to its fastened stomach. It is revealed here, that truck driver had removed many organs from it and stitched it later. Otherwise, this boy is attempting to utter something and Derry also tries to listen. But that boy is dead at the spot. Derry is full of fear. And her sister who is preset at the top of pipe, he asks to bring help from any passerby at any cost. And he himself searches the way to go upside from that basement. On the way that leads to upside, he observes many things including, antique weapons, thread and needless to stitch up the animals and human beings and it is also full of cobwebs. While walking, his shoelaces are untied. A liquid-like water drips on his shoes as he kneels down tying his laces. And when he notices the ceiling, many dead bodies are visible. These dead bodies are uncountable. He also sees those dead bodies about which his sister had told while traveling in the car. As her friends were missing on that highway 23 years ago. And one more strange this is this, 
all dead bodies are stitched with one another using thread and needles. And all dead bodies are stuck on ceiling. Now Trish is outside near the car for someone's help she notices a coming truck at a distance. She is terrified and sitting in the car, she nearly starts the car with the help of gear, but her car's gear is blocked so she is unable to start. As the truck passes aside then she feels relaxation. Because it is another truck. And anyway, Derry comes out from the basement. Trish is afraid because of the immediate arrival of Derry. And now both depart next city. Then Trish asks, what did you see in the basement? Her brother is in anxiety. He says, the story of your friends was truthful about whom you were talking about. They were killed in a brutal way. Anyhow, passing the journey, they reach near a restaurant. And getting off from the truck, they notice the same truck which is moving towards the same church. Both enter the restaurant. Meeting the lady owner of restaurant Trish says, I want to call police using your cell. Otherwise, she also encourages her brother saying, don't be afraid, everything will be all right. They are still in conversation that the phone rings placed near them. There is another lady who is speaking on the phone as they pick up it. She says to them, death is near you. Derry starts scolding her. He calls her a bad woman disconnecting the phone. Police has also arrived in the same restaurant. They both informed the police here that I have seen the many dead bodies in the basement of nearby old church. And we also received a threatening phone call. Police does not believe that it can happen as such. In their conversation, suddenly lady owner asks them to come outside as she arrives there. Coming outside, they find the open doors of their car. And their dresses are disordered. As someone has thrown his dresses outside. Otherwise lady owner also tells, someone was sniffing your clothes bringing out from the car when you were inside. Derry begins to wind up his clothes. He asks policeman for the checking of his car. There are the claws step on the door handle of car as policeman checks it. Meanwhile, Trish hears the flying sound of something. She also feels as someone is looking at her. Suspecting, police also starts moving to that church with them. They are all traveling in cars. While driving, we encounter something sitting on the police car. And police also hears a noise from the upside of car as there is something. Lady police opens the car window checking that what is upside the car. As she begins to move outside, something pulls her from the upside. Policeman is nearly to rescue his colleague, a coming hand from the roof of car pulls the policeman up tearing its car roof. He kills him attacking with his axe. Something falls on the car of siblings so they are afraid seeing it. They stop their car for checking. They see the damaged car of police. And the fallen thing on their car was nothing but the cut head of a policeman. That murderer comes out from the police car as its door is opened. Coming out, he picks that cut head and sniffs taking near his mouth. This horrible murderer is sniffing his head in terrifying way. Seeing it, Derry is again frightened. And both siblings escape sitting in their car. Trish is driving car speedily. Derry asks her to drive car slowly as he observes the driving speed. They notice a house on the way. And they stop their car near it in order to get some help. An old lady lives in this house and asks the reason of their arrival. Then Trish says, we want a contact with police. May we use your phone? Otherwise, this old man has pet cats. Meanwhile, house's light is gone. That old lady asks, is there someone with both of you? Hearing her, both glance at the standing scarecrow in the field. That old lady brings her gun from inside and starts to shoot because she is not the owner of scarecrow. That scarecrow comes to her house roof flying as she begins to fire the gun. And it enters in the house of them. That old lady also enters the house to rescue her cats because she is the great lover of her cats. And a gunshot sound is heard. After that, old lady is seen coming outside her door. And they both are gone mad. That old lady is dead and the beast cannibal is behind her. We first time have a close sight of it in this movie. Noticing that beast cannibal, both run towards their car. They begin to start the car but the gear of car is blocked. And that beast sit on the car hood coming. The car is not moving ahead so Trish reverses it and stops going backward. Now the standing beast cannibal is exactly in front of their car. That beast starts walking towards their car. Then she uses gear again and it works. And she hits that beast driving fast. As a result, it has fallen and wounded badly. And Trish drives her car over him for many times furiously. So she may end it completely. Trish's brother forbids him seeing her repeated act. Coping with this beast, both go to the nearby police station. 
where they contact with their family members consoling them falsely as they are both alright. So that they may not worry. Otherwise, Derry notices many stuck photos in the police station. They are missing people, it is known here that many people are missing on this place for the last many years. They are absolutely lost and missing. At the same time a strange woman enters the police station. She calls them by their name. Both are worried that how did this lady know our names. Anyhow, story continues. This lady tells them that I had called you when you were in restaurant. I am foreteller and you both are in danger. I dream and I foretell that what is going to happen with that man. Otherwise, this lady also informs them, that cannibal is a beast not any simple man. He awakens us after 23 years. It is a dangerous beast. Disguising human beings, he wanders in order to avoid suspicion of people. A train full of beast killer pulls up at the front of the police station. As he exits the police station, the lights are turned off. A guard triggers the hazard lights at the police precinct. While the second officer visits the police headquarters to verify on the inmates. While checking, the second attacker uncovers the monster in a penitentiary. Who is eating a prisoner violently. And that police officer fires his gun on this beast but in vain. On the other side, we see that lady again who tells them that I have dreamt, that one of you is screaming. One will be dead between you. That lady asks them to come with her. And all three are seen running from here. On the other side, police force arrives. There are the number of police officers who are wanting to check in the basement about the entered thing in police station. Then they send their partner to check. And police officer is attacked by that cannula as he moves ahead. And taking out his heart, it moves forward. And that beast cannibal comes into the room where Trish and Derry are present. Coming here, it attacks on them. First of all he sniffs that lady catching her. But it does not kill her so he goes to catch these siblings leaving her. Trish is looking her reflection into mirror but at the opposite side that beast is present. Who is sniffing her? Coming near them, it catches Derry instead of choosing Trish. It does not harm her. Trish says to that beast, leave my brother. You can take me. Here that beast starts staring at her. But it flies jumping from the window and Derry is in its claws. Trish runs after Derry seeing him going far. So she may rescue her. But that beast flies high taking him. And Trish is unable to do anything according to her will. Afterward, we see the same old church which basement had number of dead bodies. Here we also know that Derry has also been killed. That beast has eaten his eyes taking them out. And the story ends here, 